So we messed up, put it backwards, so we're gonna take it out, <laughs> put it the right way. <laughs> So, <laughs> not an artist, but this is kind of what we're doing overall. Uh, we have a workstation here, we're in a lockbox there. We'll have another cart, uh, which actually houses uh, our quick jacks, the hydraulic part. Uh, we have our PPF tank over here. We have a vinyl rack. We're gonna have a 3M color deck that's gonna be where this tint board is at. And these are gonna be our stools. There's gonna be a tint board that you see over there, our quick jack. All of this is gonna be a water station. And this is where all our filtration happens and make sure that we don't get any water spots. Another tint board over here. And then on both sides, we're gonna be having uh, a retractable uh, extension cord. And then this is gonna be our microfiber station where we have a bunch of shelves, all of the different ones. Um, that's pretty much it. So let's get at it. Finished putting this on, and uh, this will allow us to pull this and up for our heat guns and all the other stuff. We're gonna put another outlet on this side, which is gonna go on the other end over here, and then our water system is also gonna be here, or our pressure system, or pressure washer, I guess. So, pull it. Oh, nice. there you go. Masterpiece over here on the motor. Let's do this. Connector that we're going to use to go from the DI spot free system all the way up to the, the pressure washer. To quickly explain kind of why we're doing you know the DI spot free um, system and the reason why is the water quality so this is right here on the right is actually just faucet water and this is our drinking water where we get from like Whole Foods and this is called a TDS meter which is stands for total dissolved solids proud of myself for remembering that but what this does is it pretty much um, checks the mineral um, content of the water so I'm gonna do a quick one and typically you just turn it on and you just leave it on just for a little bit and but it's reading roughly about a 75 ppm particles per million and i'm just gonna try this real quick and then on the left this is a drinking water or my left and you just put it right there and you get a four so you see the massive difference and anything typically above like um 20 will give you that that spots in the water. I'm pretty sure you probably experienced that. You wash your car, you, you know, and it leaves this white spots and sometimes it's really hard to get out. So this will allow us to essentially just wash our car and not worry about all those spots coming out later on. That's a big deal, especially when we do the amount of cars that we do. So um, this filter that we're about to set up is going to get it to about two to four PPM. So that's huge when we wash cars. All right, so day like 456 of this, I'm just kidding, it's like day four or something of our reno. But just wanted to talk to you guys about what we've done so far in the past few days. Um, we did install this key lock and we also have a temperature. This is really important, especially when we're installing PPF, just so that uh, we know how to make the solution for tack or, and slip. Um, and it also has a humidity. And then we also, we also have like all our keys in there. A Tesla key for Model 3 owners and then we have this rolling cart and the reason why it's rolling cart is because we actually use quick jacks over there I don't know if you can see that and it's really it's really a big pain to get the motor or like the hydraulics up and rolling so we have this cart and it's nicely and neatly packed in there and that's the motor whoops 
Um, and it's just connected with um, Quick Connect. And then all of our accessories are in there. So whenever we need to lift the car, um, all we need to do is just drag it around and then we can just connect it, super easy. And then we install this rack. This is for our Rupes uh, Mark 3s. Uh, this is what we use for paint correction. We also installed a 3M wall display. Uh, we do offer more than just 3M, but 3M is um, the company that we're certified in a lot of the products. So these are some of the 106 colors that's available that you can wrap your car in. Super cool, I think it adds a lot of pop to the shop. And also it's nice that customers can come in and really feel and also like um, just, just see what they want when they actually come here. The cool, this is actually one of my favorite part about the shop that we came up with. And it's a towel system. We use six different types of microfibers, you know, for glass, for paint, for interior, for exterior, you know, for engine bays, all that stuff. So all of these are coordinated. The left side is clean, the right side is clean. We haven't labeled it, we just need to come up with, um, I just need to cut the vinyl, really. This is probably the biggest part of the project. Um, we've been washing a lot more cars than when we prep cars. We always pressure wash it, foam it, degrease it. Like, we do a lot of steps before we get there. And it's been a bottleneck to, you know, kind of drag, like, the pressure washer around. So what we did is we set up a pressure washer station, and the way it works is we still need to kink and get rid of all the kinks out, but um, pretty much we got a water line going in to this um, DI spotless water system. And what this does is it purifies or filters the water so that you get very, very low minerals. Um, it goes in, it goes out, and it also has a bypass mode where, you know, you don't want to use this for the whole car wash because that would be very expensive. And this is rated for 4,000 gallons, but you're going to go through that super fast. So you can do a bypass mode, and then once you're on, you can switch it on whenever you're doing the last rinse. I mean, it goes in to the pressure washer, the pressure washer goes into the hose, and then the hose has a quick connect for our gun. Um, and then pretty much all you have to do is just press the switch on. We custom installed the switch. Um, and you just push that on and then the motor starts running. Lastly, this is the biggest part that we're doing, is we have this race deck. Um, I have a set right here. We just got them today, so we're really excited. We got all black. I um, was thinking about doing some red accents or something since our logo is red, but um, I didn't want to line it, to be honest, or like that perfectly. Um, also, I think just all black would look super cool. So, this is the first time taking a look at one of these. These are called reflow. And what this is, is things will go through, and then when we do PPF, we like to wet the floor a little bit, so it won't be super slippery. So, these are gonna be really easy to install. They're interlocking, so you can see right here, it's modular. And then this kind of locks to the next thing, and then, and so on. Alright guys, so that concludes the renovation of the wrap studio. I was missing like just 10 edges over here, so this is the only thing that I just need to add towards the edges and like I'm missing one right there. Other than that, I mean we're pretty much set to, to be comfortable with what we're doing. I think the only other thing that I'm going to be adding is I'm going to install a bigger air compressor um, on the top and then run some filters through so we get clean air when we're doing interior or just you know getting water out of crevices. So that's it. Check out this quick highlight video of what we've done and we'll see you soon.